Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now today we're continuing off here on the official server and... Is it me or is that just like not rendering in? Will that fix it? Okay, new update. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, uh, we've got a new update today, 257, and it's one that a lot of people have been waiting for. There's a ton of like stuff that they released. First thing I noticed is the specimen implant's different, and we got a full like level of mind wipe, basically. So I'm going to go and put all my points into the way that I want them. I'm going to go like a really, really big melee build. Low weight, low everything. Can I just go like 500 HP? We'll go with that and movement speed and am I missing some? oh shoot I should definitely put more into weight uh, That's not enough. I might have to actually mind wipe and change that that might not be enough now This is all different. Okay, so our engrams are laid out differently now as well So I'm gonna have to go through and learn all this. I might just grab a few of the basics but, I don't know. At least it's nice that I got a free mind wipe. I definitely needed to clear my engrams. But, anyway, they released a ton of stuff in this patch. Uh, a few new dinosaurs. I'm just going to learn a few of these. That's a pretty cool animation that it gives you, too. Um, but I think we'll go out and find the bees. That's what I really wanted to find. Um, if we find some other like new ones along the way, we might check them out and kind of maybe start out a tame or something. I don't know. Um, but, really, what I want to go for is that is that bee colony. So we gotta tame a queen bee or something along those lines. I think everything else in the interface looks the same. This all looks similar to me. I guess there are a bunch of new explorer notes. Also, some kind of new musical tracks or something. I don't know, I was just kind of reading through the patch notes while I downloaded this massive, like ridiculously massive update. Um, it took a little while actually, so I was able to read up on some things. Um, there's the Kentrosaurus, there's a new, um, which is like a, a, a large stego. There's a, a bunch, or not a large stego, but a spiky stego. Sorry, I'm gonna talk as I kind of go through things here. Um, basically, um, um, the bees, a new water dino, a whole bunch of new stuff interact or having to do with tech, and then also the volcano has been changed. So what we're going to do first, before we actually go out and find bees, I want to see what the volcano looks like. That's what I'm most curious about. So why don't we go out? I'm going to go take a look. I really want to see what it's like, and I believe the tech cave is going to be there as well. Alright, so let's see what we have. Okay, so there's a bunch of lava, and I think it's... Is it supposed to explode? I don't want to misinform people, but I thought that's what the initial intention was for it to explode at certain points, but I, I'm not sure if that's an actual thing. This is really cool, though. We brought pillars. Oh, no. Oh, are you serious? Dang, you can't build up here? That really sticks. I actually brought pillars. We're going to pillar this off and take it as a building location. Um, but, yeah, looks like you can't. That's unfortunate. Dang, we thought we were going to be ahead of the ahead of the curve on that one. Oh, well, that's okay. So, I don't think fur is going to be good in here. Let's see what we have. So, uh, there's, all the metal's gone, obviously, so no more. Oh, God. Oh. I didn't even realize that was lava at first. I would have definitely walked into that if the uh, pillar didn't sink in. I think my wyvern's going to be all right. So, yeah, this is it. So we've got our tech cave, which looks like you're going into oblivion or something. This is awesome. I gotta say, this is really cool. So what do we got here? Gamma brood mother, gamma. Okay, so I'm assuming that's easy. Easy brood mother. So basically, if you kill all three easies, you can go in. And then this one's going to be a few alphas and then obviously mediums. And then alphas and... They just call alpha, I guess, hard. So that's how this works. Basically, you can go into different portions of the cave if you have different segments. This is actually really awesome, except for the fact that now I just I, I just feel like I want to be here, but the grind for tech on official is ridiculous. Like, I wish more people could experience this, but I feel like this is going to be such, like, such a rare thing to be able to do. I really want to go into this cave now. So... We did just beat uh, Brood Mother, so we do need to work on the other ones, but it's definitely doable. I think at some point we will definitely make it back here, legitimately, but um, as for now, we cannot access the cave. Let's go find us some bees, I suppose. Okay, I was actually looking for a Kentrosaurus over here by one of our other bases. 
and I'm not seeing it. One of my tribe mates actually found one over here. This is on kind of like the tundra edge near the coast on the, the west side. Um, and he said he saw two of them. I'm not seeing the other one. I really wanted to just get a mate boosted pair or something right off the bat, but that's okay. We'll, we'll start a tame on this. Um, let me just get back to base. And I was actually thinking, um, now with this, uh, tech, like, being able to use the trophies as the currency, basically, to enter these arenas. As I was flying back, I was thinking, like, now if you actually raid someone who has tech, although you can't use the element and stuff because you obviously don't have the tech grams and stuff, you could enter the cave, obviously. Like, if they just have trophies sitting around or something, you could technically probably raid them and take those trophies and go into the cave, I think. So, that's an interesting thing to think about. Okay, so we've got the Kentrosaurus kind of hovering in the air. We're just going to take it out, see how many Trank Darts this thing takes. Now, there isn't any information on this stuff. It, this update literally came out like an hour ago, so we're actually getting this stuff pretty quickly compared to normal. Maybe they actually killed the wild dinos on official servers when they when they did the update. There is new music, I think. Cool. That's a that's a cool change of pace to be honest. Almost like the scorched earth battle music. And I think it's actually regional too. So in different places on the map you'll you'll get different battle music and stuff. We'll have to see. So it can't okay there we go, there we go. Alright, so there we we have it. This one isn't like too crazy leveled, but we don't know anything about them. We're just hoping that we can even tame it in general. So let's just let this thing starve down. It actually has a, a decent HP pool for its level. Uh, that's actually not too bad. And now this can actually impale people and dinos and stuff and actually swing them around. Uh, my tribe mate said when he was bringing it over and landed for stamina, it impaled him and it kind of ran around with him on its back. I wish I would have seen it, but this thing's going to have to sit for a while. Okay, we found ourselves a beehive. Now, not really sure what to do about it, and I shot it once and a bunch of bees came out, so I don't know if we need to, like, empty the thing to find the queen, because oh, what's coming out are giant bees, and we want the bee queen or something like that, so there isn't any information. We don't really know what we're doing here. We're just kind of going off of obviously not smart tactics, because these things just keep flooding out. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to tape this thing. Maybe we can get this... Uh, this female queen bee out of this hive. What the heck? All right, so I figured it out. I got the I got the queen out, and okay, this this seemed like the way to do it. Where's she at? So I broke the the hive. Shoot, there was no queen in that one. I don't think. <laughs> All right, well, bad example. We'll go for this one. Is that hitting? I might have to get closer. Now, the gun, shooting it with a gun, didn't seem to do anything, really. And it only seemed to make them continuously flood out. I kept shooting it, like, over and over, and it did not work. Also tried tranking uh, the, the queen once that queen came out, and it, it, that didn't work either. So we think it's a passive tame. Can't... Uh, can't really be sure yet, but we are going to get this queen out. Now, I did break. You see how there was a bag when I broke that other kind of honeycomb thing? Um, now, that's what I have in my first inventory. So, oh my god. There we go. Okay, so female, or not female, but queen is out. And there we go. Now I have to just stalk it. Um, basically, I when you kill the honeycombs there's honey in it and you can use that honey to attract things to a certain area and basically I wanted to see okay throw it there yes so it does attract the female bee to it oh god it also attracts everything else to it um, now the problem is here I think we need bug spray and I, th I think that's th oh god stop I think we need bug spray to actually do this because it doesn't seem like it's working. Now you just, it's a passive tame with rare, rare flowers and oh my god, die bees. These things are just like horrible uh, ants. They're just like smaller, harder to hit, annoying ants and they just keep flooding out of the queen. So um, yeah, I'm actually going to run back to base, grab bug spray, which I actually have in the fridge because it doesn't spoil very fast at all 
And uh, we'll be right back when we're all set to tame this thing, I think. All right, so I gave it some food and check this out. This is bad. It's it's like looking like an Anki or like a Dodic or something like that. Just a ridiculously long berry tame. Now the kibble is compy. Uh, that actually came out. Someone found that one out quick. So it's just going to take forever, I think. All right, so when that thing sits forever, we're going to tame us up a bee. So I've got my bug spray on and we should be able to do this. I, I got it out of the nest just producing bees as we speak um come here come here there we go i've done it we've done it all right let's murder all its offspring why do these s still aggro on me oh god of course this pack the pack of mastics just took my rare flowers shoot and now there's this this is like the worst environment to do this in i gotta say now i was gonna use the honey but Firstly, it spoils really fast, and secondly, I just don't have any. That's pretty much the main reason. I just don't have any. <laughs> um, but it, it's all right. We're not going to have to rely on that. It's not that big of a deal. We're just going to have to fight our way through the forest, I think. Um, i got to get back to my wyvern. i got to find whatever the heck happened to this Pegomastix. Or the Pegomastax, sorry. Where did he get off to? Dude just totally G'd my flowers. Seriously? Oh god, now I'm stuck. I think I see him though. Please let me out. Those are the only flowers that I've got. It's only gonna take like three it looked like, so I hope this is the right guy. Because it could be anywhere at this point. I, I think, I th honestly, I think they've released enough d uh, redwood dinos. There's just, there's just like a ridiculous amount of aggressive redwood dinos. There we go. Got the flowers. <laughs> that was the right one. Good. All right. Um, I'm just going to go find this queen again and continue to give it mushrooms. Or, sorry, flowers. Because I guess that's what bees eat, I guess. Oh, Yeah. I didn't even put that together. Bees and flowers. Okay, it's it's the nectar. It just wants the nectar. Okay, so that was really annoying to have to chase through the woods. And it's probably going to be much better if you break a honey uh, comb and then lead them to a trap is probably the best bet. So let me grab this thing. We just pick it up. And we have now added a beehive. So you don't actually bring the bee back to base because that, that would be horrendous to actually get that all the way back. You actually just get a beehive once, you, once you've once uh, you tamed the bee. So they're all level 5. That's why uh, the level doesn't seem to get any larger. So let's take this back and put it down somewhere, I suppose. Okay, we actually had the perfect structure already started. One of my tribe mates was going to make a penguin farm here, like for organic polymer. But... Oh, you can't place it on the floor? Shoot, what's the best place for me to do this then? Um, one side is actually on ceiling, so we could literally just remove the ceilings and we should be fine, I think. See how this is actually walled off? Okay, I think we should be alright actually. This should actually work out perfectly. You're going down. <laughs> So, okay, we got to remove all these air conditioners. Don't really need those anymore. But I will leave the generator for a turret tower above this. Okay, so I've been moving <laughs> all the penguins out of here. They're just kind of in the way. Go out there. That's your new home. We don't need you anymore. Um, let's remove this. And we should be able to... I'm way down. I really, really should have put more weight on my character. I'm going to have to mind wipe because <laughs> my weight's like super low. So, okay, cool. That didn't destroy the whole place. We're good. Let me place this. There. Perfect. You know how happy these bees are going to be? This is like the perfect... Oh my gosh, what's happening? Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done it. Okay, I think I need something to interact with that. Um, shoot. I'm gonna lose this stuff. I probably don't really 
need to worry about it. Um, so we need something to access that. Yeah, this is like the perfect environment to keep bees in, don't you think? They love the, the snow. So um, I'm going to figure out some way to actually interact with that thing because I'm assuming now we can use that to actually get a bunch of honey and then kind of lure things into traps, I guess? I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but has it produced anything? Nope. Oh, and it still damages me. That's weird. So it's like a debuff that you get once you open it. It's not like in the whole area. It's like when you open it, then you get the debuff. Okay, um, I'm going to try like scuba or something. Maybe scuba or something along those lines will work. All right, it's beautifully foggy out here. Got to love Ark. Um, but I'm going to try the scuba mask because I thought, I mean, maybe, maybe it'll work. Who knows? They need to release a beekeeper outfit, obviously, now that... Oh, I don't know if I can actually use that door. Shoot. Um, <laughs> they need, if they release bees and the ability to beekeep, why wouldn't you just release a bee hel like helmet or something? I was going to say bee helm, but that sounds weird. Um, okay, so scuba does not make a difference. I'm still getting damaged, and... Let's try the bug spray. see if this works there we go okay so it's the bug spray so we're actually gonna have to make bug spray all the time now to actually interact with this thing uh yeah that's why they need like a piece of equipment or something why why is it a consumable that we have to use to get in and out of this thing i don't know but anyway i think honey will actually be a, a pretty good resource now the kentrosaurus he's gonna take forever to tame like seriously look i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what he's at right now this whole time we've we figured out how to tame bees we got bees we set up this whole thing want to see how far he is <laughs> This thing's taking forever. It's going to take like six hours or something crazy. So I hope it's cool. Now, that's where we're going to stop for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day. And of course, we'll catch you next time.